What is going on everybody? It's the Green Shiz back with another video. CGC Trading Cards back in today's headlines. What did they do? <laughs> You probably guessed it. It's already been a little while. Um, CGC has now an entire population report for every single card they've ever graded. Don't know about sports, but for sure every non-sport card. Um, World of Warcraft, everything. Every single possible thing. Lord of the Rings, old school Lord of the Rings stuff. Really cool. There's like TCGs with like less than five cards graded. A bunch of them. So it's really cool to see it. I'm excited for one of them. Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank you, Lord, and Jesus, my Savior, because there is not a lot of these graded at all. Didn't realize how little was being graded, uh, but it makes sense. It makes complete sense. There's like 25,000 of these graded, I think, in total at CGC. Yikes, bro. Like, that's extremely low. Um... Totally makes sense. They're not getting anywhere near like a publicity through YouTubers or anything like that. Not seeing even a big market push from their uh, TCG Instagram. Like, I'll have to go check and see if they have like Yu-Gi-Oh posts and stuff like that. But um, it is not a big thing. It's not, uh, which is weird to me. Weird to me. I know a lot of people... Um, strictly sealed, one of them, not big fans of them getting rid of subgrades, but PSA doesn't have subgrades. The people like big numbers, tens, 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 tens. Um, it makes sense to not have that because they want more sales. So alongside that, alongside of the awesome release of all the population reports, thank you. Been wanting it forever. It's not fair. It's not fair. Effing Lorcana population report dropped the same day Yu-Gi-Oh did. That's disgusting. But it is what it is. It's in the past. Now, now what? Now what, CGC? Well, I'll tell you what. Looked at the grading of the Japanese 151 set. Mentioned it in the podcast. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. Link down below in the description. New episode every week with your boy and also Professor Oak. Awesome, awesome time. Go check it out. Also, some awesome merch link down there. Got to represent. So, checked out the population of the 151 Japanese set. 85 or 84% gem 10 or pristine rate. I looked at just the Charizard. Like, there was a Charizard EX. Literally, 84, 85% gem mint 10 or pristine. Actually, more pristines came out out of CGC for that certain card. The Gem Mint 10 PSA rate, literally 1% difference. They did basically exactly what I would hope was hoping they'd do, have the same gem rate, make it literally line for line with what PSA is doing, give people a chance that collect 10 sets, that's awesome. Um, cause that's, that's all we really want. We have these awesome slabs. Awesome. I like the labels. They don't abbreviate. That's always been one of my biggest problems. Um, but they, they just look nice. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Having such a high gem rate is really cool. Your pristine tens. I'm really interested to see how that goes. Like the pristine tens and gem mint tens from CDC when looking at the 151 have been still below the pristine 10 has been much closer, if not maybe sometimes a little bit higher, but I've seen some sell lower than PSA 10s, um, especially when they're auctions. Uh, that goes both ways, really, for most of the stuff. But, yeah, it's interesting. Going from what was like, what, 17% gem rate or so to 84 on an ultra-modern Japanese, like, yikes. That's insane. That's a huge effing change. Um, it is exactly what I was expecting though. So not shocked in any senses, but I can't wait to see a gem rate on the new English set. We haven't had that yet. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes. It's going to be coming here really soon. Um, the Japanese 151 is dropping September, but 
I'm excited. It's going to be cool. Actually, I lied. Let's take a look at the the new English set. I completely th forgot about Obsidian Flames. Let's check that out. I'm going to check that out right now and report back. All right, so I did check Obsidian Flames on CDC site, and there ain't a whole bunch graded yet. Uh, it's growing. TBD, the Charizard I was going to look at, there's only 10 graded. Uh, right now, as it sits, there's only four tens out of 10. So 40%, but way too early to give it a number. I want to see at least a couple hundred in there to give me a good sound number. But that doesn't sound too far off compared to Japanese print quality. So we'll see how it looks. Uh, looking really curious. Cannot wait to see how it develops and seeing how the increase in the gem rate is higher. So that's cool. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I hope they're in the registry soon. That would be cool. I have tons of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I need to get in the registry. It's freaking dot on me, bro. What is this? Um, anyways, I appreciate you guys coming, stopping in, checking out the video. Uh, looking forward to just future life inside of the hobby. So let's get going. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs>